Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to New Sharks. I'm your host, Flower, and today I'm going to be talking about the essential spear combos you need to become a good spear player. Spear only has one true combo. It's not like Hammer that has a bunch of combos at, at different um, healths depending on the deck. Spear only has one true combo across all the decks. Now, you might be thinking, well, that means that this video is about nothing, right? It should just be about one combo. But here's the thing. What Spear does really well that not all other other weapons do is of course the the strings now first before we get to that let's talk about the one true combo the spear has or technically the three different variations now and that true combo is delight sarah now delight sarah is good for spear not only because it allows spear to get a true combo out of the grounded anti-air so you can catch people jumping catch people's landing and get a true combo out of it and get station control from it but it is also spear's main kill option now Killing. That brings me to my next point. To the three different variations of the spear delight combos. So the first variation is delight recovery. Now delight recovery on spear is used for when you are in the middle of the stage, or for when you're on a map with low ceilings and and you're not going to be able to kill with delight stare off the side. Now delight recovery kills maybe 10, 20 damage earlier. Than Sarah. And that's a pretty good optimization, but you have to know when to use it. So use it in the middle of the stage. Use it when D lights there. Don't use it like on the, on the edge here when D lights there will probably kill. Um, use it on maps with low ceilings. You don't want to be do, do, doing D light recovery on maps with high ceilings because most of the time it's going to end up um, that you're going to be killing with Sarah earlier anyway. Now, the third variation of the D light combo is. Uh, Unfortunately, it is a lot less useful, um, but you can still find ways to use it, and that is D-Light Nair. So, D-Light Nair is dependent on how you hit the D-Light. That is why D-Light Nair is, is not as widely used. You have to hit a, you, most of the time, have to hit a dash impulse D-Light to get it consistent. But if you do hit that, the, the benefits of hitting a D-Light Nair consist of higher strength potential, um... You can get Chase Dodge Sair, you can get stuff like D-Light Nera, then like a Jump Read with GC D-Light, but at the end of the day, unless you know for certain and you, you're labbing out, you know, when exactly D-Light Nera is going to be true, I would just go for D-Light Sair anyway. But yeah, like you can hit stuff like that, but I would go for D-Light Sair, it's more consistent. But anyways, from, you may have heard me say when you were talking about D-Light Nera, Leads you to more strings. So now we're going to be talking about the strings of Spear. The not confirmed combos, but combos used um, after getting a dodge. Or combos used uh, as just general options to, to read people. So your main string starter on Spear, um, there's two actually. And that is side light and end light. So... Side light and end light are good string starters for two reasons. No, so now end light is a good string starter because of the fact that end light puts them far away, and you're also able to do another end light. So it's hard to wake up out of. Um, you can still wake up if you have like a option like a bow dare or something, but in general, because that priority is pure and where it sends you, it's hard to wake up after this. So you could do strings. Like end light side light, you can do strings like end light end light end light. You could do like a one one two, like you do end light end light to catch them going grounded. They're like, oh shit, I need to stop going grounded, and then you read the jump. Um, you could do stuff like end light D light or read the jump. Uh, like just there's many different string starters off end light, but the main thing to note is that end light is good for just getting those quick one two, you know, hit hit strings like just two hits, three hits if you're lucky. Like, these are just good for furthering your damage in tiny ways. Now, where you're going to want to get the big damage on Spear is off of Sidelight. So, Sidelight is a good string starter for Spear because of the fact that it leaves your opponent aerial. Now, what does this mean? In Brawlhalla, if you don't know, the dodge timer, which is the, the rate at which you get back your dodge, is it, there's more time to get back your dodge in the air than it is on the ground. If I ground and spot dodge... Look how quickly I can click my spot dodge again. Whereas if I aerial spot dodge, like look how, how how long it takes for me to get my dodge again. 
Guys, see. So, the fact that this leaves you in the air means that whatever dodge your opponent does, or if you hit your opponent while they're dodging in the air already with the sidelight, means that they're not going to get their dodge back for a long time. And what does this mean with Spear? That means that you can get the, the highest uh, string, the highest damage that you can get off a combo. And that is from um, a string we're talking about, which is sidelight. Oops. Which is sidelight. GCD light, sir. So, side light, D light, GCD light, sir. Now, this is the highest possible damage you can get from a confirmed string on spear. Um, and this is not only good because of the damage, but it's also good because of the fact that it leaves you and your opponent in, in, in a good position. Like, it leaves you with stage control here and, and leaves you able to react to what they're doing. So, if the biggest thing to take away from this video is D light, GCD light, sir. And uh, side light, D light, GC, D light, sir. Um, this is the highest damage string you can do. And obviously, you can take these and you can apply what we talked about earlier, where if they're uh, maybe at a higher health, you know, like maybe they're here, and then you want to do this and you want to do recovery instead because it might kill if you're on a lower ceiling map, or if you want to set up for um, juggles, you know, with recovery and stuff like that. So now, end light and side light are your main string starters but that doesn't mean that they're your only string starters um another big string starter on spear is nair so nair is good for for soft reads and and what a soft read is if you guys don't know um, I, I know a lot of you probably know what a soft read is but just making sure you know so this video can apply to everyone a soft read is when you go for a read that may not be super you might not get super high reward you may just get you know like one extra hit but it's not really you know that risky to go for if you miss it your opponent's not going to punish you as opposed to if i did something like a gcn sig a good opponent if they get away from that is most time going to punish me with a lot of uh with a lot of damage anyway so nair on spear is really good for soft reads now what are the soft reads on nair so usually when you hit nair and this is an important property of spear that makes spear so dynamic is that Depending on how you hit the Nair, it's going to change where your opponent's sent. So if you hit a completely stacked Nair, your opponent's going to go up. If you hit a Nair to the side, your opponent's going to go to the side. And if you hit a Nair with the bottom part hitting, your opponent's going to go down and then up because they're going to bounce off the ground. And, and there's also like um like in between sort of spots where like, you know, like I hit like kind of the, the a mix of both like stacked and to the side and it sends them diagonally up. So... The more you play Spear, and the more you start doing these Nairs, you're going to start realizing, you know, where exactly this sends. Um, so the main strings um, is after Nair, another Nair. Um, after the Nair that, that sends up is, is another Nair. Or after the Nair that sends up is, is a recovery. Um, the one that hits the side, usually you're going to want to do a chase dodge there. The ones that hit down, you're going to want to do a normal there. The ones that are diagonally up, which is a little less common, and a little less common to when exactly when you want it to, you can do a GCD light like that, uh, and, or you can do like uh, if you hit to the side, but you know it's a little bit light, you do a jump stair, uh, and you know obviously at the back, like you do turn around, jump stair, like all these things, definitely will help you on spear to improve your combos and your strengths. Now, the last point that I'm I'm going to uh, the last two combo stars I'm going to give to you are admittedly not that great and you might not be hitting these in game as much but they're still important to know about in case you do hit them so Sarah on spear is a good move um, in higher level play you're not going to be this but maybe in lower level play you're catching someone with a lot of Sarah and you want to know the strings that you can do off it so until recently um, Sarah and light was a true combo Unfortunately, it's not anymore, so now you just get it two frames. Um, but Sarah and Light, you can use when people are not dodging. And you can also do reads, D-Light reads, and, and side light reads. Um, but in general, off of Sarah, you're going to want to be doing a lot of end light and a lot of side light because of their big hitboxes. Um, you know, you do a reverse side light. You can, do, you can do a dash side light to catch dodge away. You know, you, you can do like a, a D-Light to catch jump. Just anything that will catch with like the general area of where your opponent wants to go. And then from here, from catching a side light, you could do what we were talking about. You could do side light, D light, GC, D light, sir. You know, from the from the 
delay you can do nair and then you go from the strings from that now we'll talk about dare um dare i don't personally hit dare a lot of my games but you'll notice that higher level spear players will hit dare and they'll get people in this continuous loop where they're just daring them over and over now this is from people don't dodge off spear dare um you can just land another dare you just, just pogo over and over because it's the spear dare sends you up so you could just start doing this kind of thing i used to do this when i was gold you know just uh uh you know just practice like getting used to the spear dare so you could do dare dare to catch you know people not dodging and and people trying to jump um, but you can also, as a soft read, you can use Nair. Um, Nair to catch all different types of dodges, like dodge up away, like like the people when people are, are dodging into you. Like It also catches people doing nothing. And then from Nair, you can do your strings already. So, Dare, you want to use more Dares and more Nairs. You can also do Weapon Throw. You can you can Dare Weapon Throw if you're not super confident in an option and you just want to try to you know get something light. You could do something like that if, if you're advanced. Like, just that general sort of thing. But, those are your main string starters on Spear, and those are your confirmed combos. I hope this helped you. You can buy my coaching in the description of this video, or you can go to teamneutralist.com and buy my coaching. Admittedly, it is expensive. I'm sorry. Um, but, it's worth the price. I just don't like coaching people, but, but it's okay. My socials are also down below. My YouTube, my Twitch, my Twitter. If you want to see what's going on, if you want to see what I post, you can go down there. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully this helped you. Uh, let me know in the comments. You know, maybe come back five days later and tell me, Hey, Flower, I, I went up 200 years after your, your combo videos. This really helped me. You know, it's really appreciated. I read all the comments. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.